Welcome. Today we're going to talk about transformations. Part one was on translation. Part two, rotation. That's this part. Part three is reflection. And part four, dilation. Rotation is a transformation that turns a figure about a fixed point. That point is called the point of rotation. This would be a 90 degree rotation and the image is what you get after you rotate around that fixed point. Alright, let's try a rotation. So I'm gonna click on button 2 which I'm gonna rename as translation. And I'm gonna duplicate the button Except this one is going to be called rotation. And I want to center that text on the button. All right. And back to scripts. It's going to broadcast a new message called rotation. So, back to our letter. We can put this aside. That's the translation. And now we're going to have a new event. When I receive rotation. And again, we're going to ask uh, questions. Now, let's take a look at the motion block for rotate. We have a, a rotate to the left and we have a rotate to the right. So, typically, in geometric rotations, Rotations to the left are positive and rotations to the right are negative. So we're going to stick with that concept. And we're going to sense and ask a question. Now, it also is around what point is an, another aspect of it. Okay, so we're going to ask two questions. What point are we going to rotate around and what... Uh, amount are we going to rotate? So we're going to ask two questions. So I guess for the point, we're actually going to say what x, x coordinate and y coordinate of the point, right? What's the x coordinate of the point? And we'll have an answer to that. We'll ask what is the y coordinate? So I can just copy this. Let's see if I can copy and paste it yep. and change that to a y coordinate. I will put the answer to that. And then we're going to ask. Uh, how many degrees? Okay. And we'll get an answer to that. And we're going to be setting some data, some variables. So we're going to make a x coordinate. This would be rotation x coordinate, right? Rotation x coordinate, rotation y coordinate, and rotation uh, degrees. Okay, and somehow we got in the middle of that. Okay, so. We're going to set rotation x coordinate to the first answer. We're going to set rotation y coordinate to the second answer. And we're going to set rotation degrees 
to the third, and we're going to need those three at some point. X coordinate and Y coordinate, and we'll put the degrees right there. Now we can choose what part of our letter is uh, is being rotated by looking at its costume and clicking on this. So this is now the center. This is what it's going to rotate around. But maybe we want to rotate it around that very corner, or maybe we want to choose something exterior to it and let it rotate around this point away from the actual figure, right? I'm going to go with the corner of it as much as possible. I'm going to touch it right there to the corner. Okay. And so that's what it's going to rotate around. That's now the center around which uh, the shape will rotate. And I think we should do a little motion where we glide to the point in question. And perhaps we should wait a second <clears throat> and then rotate the number of degrees indicated. And we may even want to um, use our pen tool and do a little stamp before we rotate. And then we'll turn the number of degrees, wait a second, and then clear the stamp so we can see what it is that happened. So let's give that a try. When I click rotation, it says, what's the x coordinate? Now I'm going to go with the origin. So I'm going to say 0 and for the y coordinate, 0. And for the number of degrees, I'll say 45 degrees. And I hit enter. It glides to 0, 0. It rotates 45 degrees. And there it is. So to undo that, I could rotate. Now I could choose a different point. I could choose a point 250 uh, and negative 45. Oh, that's interesting. I put negative 45 because that's how much I want to rotate it. Negative 45 degrees. Now it's going to glide to the point 250, negative 45, and it's going to rotate 45 degrees to the right. And now we can no longer see it. I'm going to translate that. Negative 300 and 0, and it'll slide on out here. Um, so, translation, rotation. You know, I think that I'm going to go into my variables and make the variables not visible because it's uh, they're starting to take up a lot of room. But you can always turn them back on if you want to be able to see uh, what they are. All right, so here we are after two.